Hello, you're watching Look East coming up tonight. Leaders of a religious sect accused of covering up alleged abuse. We have a special report on Northamptonshire's Jesus Army. Getting whatever it's going to be, a cheque for 30,000 quid, in no way can change, can repair, makes up for the abuse that these people have suffered. First tonight, how allegations of widespread abuse of church members were covered up by senior leaders of the Jesus Army. That's according to a major investigation which has been leaked to Look East. The disgraced religious sect which sprang up in Northamptonshire in the 1970s closed last year after the BBC revealed hundreds of alleged victims were seeking damages. Well, now a report claims that all five of the so-called apostles appointed to lead the church were culpable and must take responsibility for their inaction. The Church Trust has declined to comment. John Iamunga has tonight's exclusive report. Oh God, I have so many, many sins. But listen, if we confess our sins... For all he preached, the founder of the Jesus Army, Noel Stanton, never confessed. An alleged bully and sexual predator, he ruled for 50 years until his death in 2009 over one of the UK's most abusive churches. The Spirit of God shall come upon you. Now we can reveal his so-called apostles, Hugh Lewis, John Campbell, Ian Callard, Mick Haynes and Mike Farrant, apparently covered up the widespread abuse of vulnerable women and children. A leaked independent review commissioned by the church finds that each of the five senior leaders who stepped down in 2017 colluded with sexual offenders through their handling of complaints. Christ is Lord! Lord Jesus Christ. The Jesus Fellowship, as it's formerly known, disbanded last year after the BBC exposed claims of prolific child abuse in communal homes throughout central England. Hi, I'm uh, Mick, Mick Haynes. My virtue name is Temperate. The leaders, including the top man Mick Haynes, were recently questioned by police, but no evidence was found of any crimes. Frequently on TV in the early 90s, the spokesman and head of safeguarding John Campbell defended their roles. The leaders are on an exactly same footing as, as anyone else in the church. So there's no financial exploitation or no other, other form of exploitation. People joining us can join us with a real sense of safety. Some of the leaders still live in communal houses like Hugh Lewis and Mike Farrant, who is the church's FD. All five men declined our requests for comment. We tracked down Mr Farrant to his home in Kettering. Mr Farrant, it's John from the BBC. Can we ask you a few questions? Uh, sorry. Did you cover up abuse allegations, Mr Farrant? Can we just speak to you for a short time? I have asked you several questions already. No, I'm sorry. Do you mind just coming out and talking to us, Mr Farrant? Over the years, thousands of people have been drawn to the Jesus Army, which was well known for its marches and military uniforms. Most members were required to work on the church's farms or businesses and give their income to a common purse. It's perhaps no surprise that the Jesus Fellowship is sitting on a considerable fortune with properties like this one, its headquarters in Northamptonshire, totalling tens of millions of pounds. But for how long? It's facing a huge damages bill and around 800 alleged victims are seeking payouts. In recent months, a trust has been liquidating assets to raise the needed funds. The Jesus Fellowship Survivors Association represents most of the likely claimants. Getting whatever it's going to be a cheque for 30,000 quid is, yes, in a way it's, it's, it's good and it helps, you know, and for some people it could be life-changing, but that in no way can change, can repair, makes up for the abuse that these people have suffered. Do you think the church has been running away from their responsibilities for the past few years? Yes, I think they always run away from their responsibilities. It's only through stubbornness and threats of group civil claims, threats of essentially what they deem as their money going, that they're now putting a redress scheme together. The Jesus Fellowship declined our requests for comment. Last year, it apologised to anyone who had experienced harm. Launched in a small chapel, the Jesus Army became one of Europe's largest religious communities, now overcome by its dark past. John Ironmonger, BBC Look East. 
Well, if you've been affected by any of the issues in John Iamunga's report, there is help on the BBC Action Line website.